morning everybody it is uh thursday september 23rd and delmer and sir charles are back with me today and we are near bedford virginia at a place called peaks of otter uh peaks of otter visitor centers right over there the peaks of otter are three peaks that overlook the bedford valley and we are going to climb we're going to try to hike up to at least one of them today maybe the second one if we feel like it and the three peaks are uh, sharp top flat top and hearkening hill and i do believe they're all between the elevations of 3300 and 4000 feet looks like it's going to be a beautiful day so uh we're about 150, maybe 160 miles northeast of where we live. So we're within another 20 miles or so of being halfway to Washington, D.C. I think Abbott Lake, yeah, if you can look back over there and see it, we may come back down and uh, loop around it. Don't know. But we'll go up there and find the trailhead. We'll get started. I don't know if y'all can hear me or not, the wind is really wicked up here. We are not actually at the summit of Sharp Top. We are on a side trail to an overlook called Buzzard's Roost. And uh, which I'm guessing Sharp Top would be up there. Which we'll go up there when we come out from here. Let's see what we got going on up here. Pretty good view, Delmer? Pretty good. Whoa. Man, that wind is outrageous. Getting on that far and thick wind. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a pretty, it's pretty good, but yeah. Not bad at all. Just don't know how the heck to get up there. May have to put the camera away to climb up. Those rocks. You'd almost think he's in western North Carolina with all these huge boulders. Yeah. Well, folks, there's one mountain that I definitely cannot point out from here. <laughs> Good old grandfather. Yeah, we're probably, what, 200 miles north of there. I climbed up here a little bit. Haven't went all the way up to where Delmer is just yet, but uh, man, just look. I'm gonna see if I can. Oh, e -e. <laughs> look there, folks. It's about to blow my cap off my head. See that rock? See that rock balance right there, Delmer? how far you can see out that way. I can only imagine what our view is going to be when we get over there on Sharp Top. Barely keep my balance from that wind. Pretty cool. And pretty cool. That wind is cold. Ok, 
Okay folks, look here. This rock over here is balanced on uh, two other rocks. And then get a better, yeah, get a better view of it right there. Ain't that nice and neat. <laughs> Man, this wind is absolutely brutal. How you doing? Watch that first step, it's a Lulu. Come on, you're okay. Caught my toe. It does happen. Pretty good if you can stand the wind. It is brutal. I wouldn't want to get a first dog for in the wind. I had to actually get down, I was getting cold. Yeah, you too. Have you been up to the top yet? Yeah. Should, yeah, the very top. Beautiful from up there? I would say if it's breezy. Okay, thanks. what it looks like around here. Okay, we're finally about to approach the summit of Sharp Top. Folks, look at all these huge boulders. There's this little cottage or whatever. I forgot about that. Man, huge rocks. If that wind would just die down. I don't know we can probably go in here and have lunch. <laughs> Get out of the wind. holes down here let's see I'm gonna take them in there you live here? I live here No, we're, we're actually hiking. Look at this little champ right here. Down where the sign is, because the GoPro won't pick it up from up here. Okay, folks. Sharp Top Mountain, elevation 3,875 feet. Sharp Top, famous observation point, was once thought to be Virginia's highest peak. Yeah, Thomas Jefferson thought that. From it came the Virginia Stone and the Washington Monument, which is inscribed from Otter's Summit, Virginia's loftiest peak, to crown a monument to Virginia's noblest son. Well, 
that's pretty neat. That's a horrible view, Delmer. <laughs> I said that's a horrible view, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Now there's the lake, Abbott Lake. We can go down and loop around it, I guess. I can see the trail down there. So, well down there's where we're parked. There's the visitor center. Oh, there's gotta be uh, the third peak, which I keep thinking. And that's gotta be flat top over there. Barely squeeze through there, can't you? Wheat. What? Wheat. I don't see any wheat, do you? <laughs> this one points back to Buzzard's Roost, three quarters of a mile. Still, the wind is pretty rough, and it's actually chilly. See this old building over here? Don't know if it's an old schoolhouse or what, but uh, I believe we're going to go over there and investigate it. This is Abbott Lake. Just Abbott, not Abbott and Costello. Just Abbott.
Not sure what this was, but there's a sign over here. We shall see. Polly, Polly Woods is ordinary. Built in the early 1800s, the simple mountain cabin was operated as an inn or ordinary. Huh. Never knew what that meant. From about 1830 until about 1850, here the widowed Polly Woods catered to the ordinary needs of the weary mountain traveler. A hot meal, a comfortable bed, and a place to stable his horse. Originally located 150 yards to the west, the building was moved to its present site in 1964. It's locked. Must be no more room at the end. <laughs> oh, okay, folks. Right up there is Sharp Top, where we where we were uh, about an hour and a half ago, I guess. Pretty cool area, wouldn't you say, Delmer? If it hadn't been so windy up there on top of Sharp Top, we would have stayed up there. I don't think Mo would like Okay, everybody, uh, we're almost back to the visitor center's parking lot. We uh, did Shark Top, Buzzard's Roost, came back down off the mountain, went out and looped around the lake. Uh, those views from up there on top, they were, they were some awesome views. If it hadn't been so windy, we would have stayed uh, quite a bit longer. But uh, anyway, well, thank all of you for coming along with Delmer and me and Charlie. As always, there's another one in the books. And until next time. <laughs>